Old World Blues is the third expansion pack for Fallout New Vegas, which, at least I felt, feels like an expansion pack itself for Fallout 3. The last two add-on adventures were okay, but could have done with a bit more va va -voom. Luckily, Old World Blues is the best expansion pack for the game yet, with some great characters, funny dialogue, and a few new weapons, outfits, and perks that you can of course take back with you into the main game once you've completed it. After stumbling across a fallen satellite at a drive-in, you wake up to find you've been operated on by some scientists that now live inside computers. The good news is that they've upgraded your brain, heart and spine to give you some extra useful perks and a few new weapons to take with you as you go on a few new quests on their behalf. You'll meet some new monsters including scorpions with lasers on their tails and shambling brainless humans called lobotomites. What this expansion pack really delivers is a very tongue-in-cheek chapter in the New Vegas canon that feels like a 70s B-movie. Even though you're walking around a post-apocalyptic environment, it's anything but depressing as you meet some larger-than-life characters, including talking toasters and jukeboxes, and you visit some quirky locations. You'll even get to learn a little bit more about why some of the creatures have mutated in New Vegas in the first place. Coming in at around 8 hours with some well-balanced gameplay, this is definitely worth a download. Just make sure you're around level 15 when you start it though, as there's no going back once you decide to take the plunge. Old World Blues gets a very good 7 out of 10 been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com